With the saltwater aquarium dot com 700 built, full of water and the salinity and temperature where we wanted them, it was time to cycle the tank. Which begs the question, are we cycling the tank with the fish or without the fish? Let's break down both approaches. The fish the cycle involves adding nitrifying bacteria and then ammonia chloride to feed the bacteria. Note that you can use live rock to provide the nitrifying bacteria. Now bombing the tank with bottled nitrifying bacteria is much faster. Cycling a tank with fish involves placing a hardy fish in the tank and simultaneously adding nitrifying bacteria. For the record, I have no problem cycling a tank with fish when it's done correctly. I've been cycling tanks with fish for over 10 years now and I've never had an ammonia spike. I've never lost a fish during the process. Now, before I get into the exactly how I cycle tanks with fish, keep in mind, what I'm not doing is putting damselfish in a tank with some live rock and then leaving it for a month. That's how we did things in the 80s and the 90s, or if you don't know what you're doing, that's the approach. That's not how I do it. I don't recommend it. Here's how I do it to get the results that I get every single time. First, one to two hardy fish. Pair of clownfish work great. Another big key to cycling your tank with fish is that you want to use small fish. That's why I recommend a pair of clownfish. They're not very big, they don't produce a lot of waste. The risk of having an ammonia spike in your tank is very small when you use small fish. And also note, I only use two of them. I'm not talking about adding six fish all at once. Start small and then let your tank mature and go from there. You don't want to overload the system, especially when it's new and has little or no bacteria in it. The fish behind me were not the fish used to cycle this tank. I don't recommend you use these type of fish for cycling your tank either. So they look pretty and they're cool. These are not the fish that you use to cycle a tank. Second, add a legitimate bacteria in a bottle source like Fritz Turbo Start 9 or Dr. Tim's one and only nitrifying bacteria. Pro tip, make sure the bacteria is fresh by checking the expiration date and making sure it hasn't frozen or gotten overly hot. Third, start testing. Check ammonia, nitrite, and nitrate with a test kit 24 hours after you add the bacteria and the fish. You'll likely see no ammonia, little nitrite, and some amount of nitrate. When you see nitrates, you know the initial tank cycle is complete. For the saltwateraquarium.com 700, we did a fishless cycle. Now why did I do a fishless cycle when I usually do a cycling with fish and have great results? The reason being quarantine. We wanted to make sure that all the fish coming into our tanks are fully quarantined. And in this case, the boss wanted to learn the quarantine process, so he wanted to quarantine the fish himself. The fish weren't quite ready to go when the saltwateraquarium.com 700 was ready to receive them, so we didn't rush the quarantine process. We went with the fishless cycle on this tank. We added a big old bottle of Fritz Turbo Start 900, and then food for the bacteria in the form of ammonia chloride. Then we start testing and we went a little bit overboard on ammonia chloride. We hit 54 parts per million nitrates because we added so much bacteria food. Oopsies! Time for a water change to fix that mishap. Just grab the Cichet Zero, some hose, and start pumping. Man, water changes are just so exciting. It may be wondering why there's no lights on the saltwaterquern.com 700. The answer is when you first start your tank, you don't have to have the lights. Your tank doesn't need them. It's not a requirement to start a saltwater tank. It drives me crazy when I see people buy all this gear and not getting their tank started because they're missing lights or they're missing circulation pumps. The game of the game is get your tank started. Birth the tank, get it maturing. You don't have to have lights to do that. So if you can't afford the lights, you don't know what lights you want, doesn't matter. Get the tank up and going, then you can always add the lights later which is exactly what we're doing with the saltwateraquarium.com 700. Mm -hmm.